but I know who is. Our Heavenly Father put this one together. All I'm going to do is give you the information that's in the Word. Amen? One thing for showing, two things for certain. Guess where I ain't coming from? I ain't coming from head knowledge. I'm coming straight from the Word. Amen? And I'm talking about a bank account that will never run dry. Deposit it in your name. You have access to a bank account that will never run dry. Let me ask you three questions. This is personal. Amen? But there are three questions because we believe in the power of three here. So we're only going to ask three. I can ask more than three, but I'm only going to ask three. The first question I want to ask you, would you like to make withdrawals from a bank account that never runs dry? That's a personal question to y'all. Because you know you can make a withdrawal and then get a bill for making a withdrawal that's overdrawn. You know what? When you overdraw, you know that means you don't have it. You can't cover it. But we ain't talking about that kind of bank account. We talking about a bank account that never runs, runs dry. Number two, would you like a bank account that never runs dry with only one deposit? Now, this is a bank account I'm talking about where it's only a one-time deposit. And this one-time deposit never runs dry. And this is a bank account with your name on it. And it never runs dry. Why would people get bank accounts anyway? So they can withdraw. In times of need, they would draw money from the bank in times of need. Amen? Well, this is a bank account opened up on your behalf with your name on it, where you can withdraw and it will never run dry. And number three. You might be asking yourself, what kind of bank account is that that never runs dry and it was only a one-time deposit? And it's a lifetime withdrawals and it never runs dry. Now, wouldn't y'all want that? That type of bank account? Well, guess what? You already have it. And we're going to let the Bible wake you up to what you might have been asleep to. So you need to know, amen, about this bank account. Let's go, glory be to God, to the book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. Chapter 1. Glory be to God. Ephesians chapter 1. And this is our scripture reading. I'm coming out of the King James Version. Now remember the title of our message. Your bank account will never run dry. Scripture reading coming from the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Verses 1 and 2. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. That's us. Hold on. He included us in this. Amen. 
is to the saints in Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Now he done included us. So we included in this. Amen. Verse 2. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 2. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for the reading of your word. We ask that you continue to bless the ears of your word, Lord God. Continue to bless the doers of your word, Lord God. I call that as though it was done because it is done through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. And everybody who loves the Lord God, let them say amen. Amen. Now, listen to verse 2 of Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 2, grace be to you. Grace be to you. Stop right there. It starts off, now remember, your bank account will never run dry. It starts out, grace be to you. Well, who is grace? We got to get on one accord on grace. Grace is God giving you what you did not deserve. That's grace. Well, who did God give us that we did not deserve? He gave us his only begotten son. The Christ. The word of God. Jesus the Christ. He gave us Grace, so grace be to you. That was the word said. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 2. Grace be to you. God gave you grace. Something you didn't deserve. And what was that? His only begotten son. He gave you grace. That's grace. Grace is his son. He gave us his son who we did not deserve. That's grace. Amen. That's how I start out. Grace be to you. And peace. Uh-oh. He giving you grace, his son. Now he giving you peace. So now we got to understand what is peace. Peace is the absence of war. So he given us peace. Amen. Not war. Amen. He given us peace of mind. Amen. Now hold on. Let's stick with the peace of mind. Since we know peace is the absence of war. Peace of mind. Would you want to have peace Knowing you have a bank account that never runs dry. Is that not peace of mind? Your mind is at peace when you can go to the bank and make a withdrawal. No matter what amount, you can make a withdrawal and you're never overdrawn. That peace of mind. Amen? Amen? One thing for sure and two things for certain. You can't get around that one. Peace. Amen. Grace be to you and peace. From who? From God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. That to tell you something right there. Now listen to the title. Read your title. A bank account that will never run dry. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and Jesus the Christ. So, I don't want to get ahead of myself. 
Let me do this like the Lord had me map it out. Amen. We're going to get into our word now since we just got finished with our scripture reading. And that was just our scripture reading. Now let's get into the message for today. Amen. And guess what? I won't be before you long. Pastor B. Steelville won't be before you long. Why is that? First of all, let me give you a clue. We're only going over one verse. You know, God is a God of simplicity. He makes everything simple. He's not a God of confusion. He ain't going to confuse you. Amen? Amen? We have a confuser out there, and that's the adversary. Amen? We have an author of confusion. And the adversary has, he go by quite a few names. Amen? Satan. He go by the devil. He go by Slewfoot. And he also go by the enemy. Amen? So he is the author of confusion. But God is the author of simplicity. Amen? Amen? He has nothing to do with confusion. Our message is coming from the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3. Amen? And all we're going to do is one verse. But guess what? This one verse got so much meat in it. Amen? It's got so much nourishment in it. And it has a lot of nutrition in this one verse. You talk about a full course meal. Well, we getting ready to get a full course meal in one verse. Remember our title now because it's very important. And for those of you who might be first time listeners to me deliver a word, know this. I am a repeater. Amen. I'm going to repeat something over and over and over. Amen. Why would Pastor B. B. Steelville be a repeater and repeat the same thing over and over and over and over? Because this is the results that I get from people when they say, how many times he going to say that? Well, you know what? When that get in a person's mindset, he, how many times you going to say that? You know what that let me know? I did my job. They got it. Amen? I don't want you not to have it. That's why I'm going to keep repeating what I'm going to repeat. And you know, sometimes it be hot off the press from heaven for me to repeat myself. While I'm standing before you, the Lord I send a discerning spirit down to have me repeat something over and over and over. Let me tell you something about the word of God. It is not I that's bringing it. It is God working through me to bring his word. Amen. I want everybody to know this. Don't give me no credit for the word of God. God gets the glory for bringing the word through me to you. Did you know I pray the same prayer every, every time I'm bringing God's word forward? I pray this prayer. And it don't change. You know we got a saying out there. They say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, I ain't trying to fix this prayer. Because this prayer that I pray ain't broke. And it's the same prayer. 
I pray this prayer before I bring his word. I say, Lord God, through the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus the Christ, as I continue to decrease and allow you to increase, give me what to say, when to say, how to say, what you would have me to say to your people, to your children, to your flock, to your congregation, to your assembly. Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ, amen. And then when I do that, it's all God now. So I can't take no credit for nothing that I bring forward. Give God all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise for what he give me to bring. Amen. One thing for sure and two things for certain. Don't come here to listen to the messenger. Come here to Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches to listen to the message. It's all about the message, not the messenger. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Our message is coming from Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 3. Amen? And it reads, Blessed, Lord God, it starts out with, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings, in heavenly places in Christ. Let's go over this. Because we're talking about our title. Our title is, tie, is tied to this one verse. Your bank account will never go dry. Your bank account will never run dry. Who wants a bank account like that that will never run dry? All of us. And the glory, and the good thing about it is, all of us have this bank account. But let's let the word break it down. Blessed be to the God. That's God the Father. That's what it say. Blessed be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. That's something for us to do. Well, how do we bless God? Think about it. Because it's saying, blessed be the God and Father of Jesus Christ. How do we bless God? This is how you bless God. By thanking God for everything that he has done in Jesus the Christ's name. By thanking God for everything that he is doing in Jesus the Christ's name. By thanking God for everything that he will do in Jesus the Christ's name. Amen. And you do all that through prayer. Amen. You thanking God for all of that through prayer. That's one way to bless God. Amen? Amen? Let me tell you something else. When it talks about let me get to it first. Praising God. This is another way to bless God. First, you done thanked him. Now you praise God. We're only going to do three. We famous here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches for believing in the power of three. So we're going to do three things, how you bless God. First, you thank God. Then you praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God through song. Dance, prayer, praise God. And the third thing, then you worship God. How do you worship God? You worship God by ce celebration of who God is. 
That's how you worship God. Through celebration of who he is. That, all that is tied to this is how you bless God, the Father, and Jesus the Christ. That's how you bless. You thank him. You praise him. And you worship him. That's how you bless him. Amen. And you're doing all this through song, dance, and prayer. Amen. Blessed. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Hold on. You mean to tell me we done bless God by thanking him, praising him, and worshiping him. And then he blesses us with spiritual blessings. Hold on. Let me read that one more time. I want to make sure we got this right. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. I want you to miss this part. This part says, you got God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit blessing us with all. Now that word all, you know, that's the biggest word of all. He blessed us with all spiritual blessings. And guess what? He gave us all of those spiritual blessings before he created heaven and earth. He already chose us. He already knew us. And he blessed us. But I need you to focus on that one little word, all. He blessed us with all spiritual blessings. And you know where he put all of our spiritual blessings? He put it in our heavenly bank account. We got a bank account, family, that you can never overdraw. You know why? Because God did say he's going to bless us with all spiritual blessings. Amen. And then after, let me, read, let, me, let, me, let me slow down. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Let me read it again. Amen. I know what they say. There you go, repeating it again. That's right. I need you to get it in your spirit. Well, he always repeating stuff. Glory be to God, they got it. Because let me tell you one thing for sure and two things for certain. You wouldn't say that if you got it. The only reason you say he keep repeating himself is because you got it. And guess what the Lord got me doing? Making sure you get it. Amen. Let me read it again. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Hold on. Now we know where our your bank account will never go dry. That's the title. Now we know where this bank account that will never go dry is. It's in heavenly places. Amen. We got a heavenly bank account that God himself opened up for us on our behalf in our name. And all God wants us to do is withdraw from it. Amen. People now, they go to the bank to withdraw. You know why? Because that's a time of need. Most people withdraw for the time of need. Amen. Ain't got nothing to do. Okay, I ain't got nothing to do. I'm just riding. I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing planned. Oh, there's the bank. That's my bank. I go to that bank. Let me go in the bank. Let me get $100 out. Amen? 
just to have it. Ain't got nothing to do. But I went there with nothing to do in a time of need. I just needed $100 in my pocket. Don't need it for nothing. But the bank is to withdraw in the time of need. We're talking about not no earthly bank account. We're talking about a bank account that we already had in our name before God even created heaven and earth. He already had an account set up for us. And guess what? God himself put a one-time deposit in our bank account with our name on it. And did you know what's in this one-time account? Deposit? The word all. Spiritual blessings. All. So that means, now hold on. If you got all of something, that means you don't never run out. If it's a heavenly bank account. Not because, let me straighten that out. We gave all of, I ain't going to use y'all, I'll use me. Because y'all can relate like that. I done gave all my money that I had and put it in the bank. Amen? Amen. I done gave all $42 to the bank. Amen? All my money, I put it in the bank. Amen. Now, I done went and I done drew out $40. Amen. I done drew $40 out. Now, I got a balance of $2. Next month, I go, I need them $2. So I go draw the $2 out. They tell me I ain't got $2 in the bank. Some kind of interest fee or something went on and took that. Amen? So now I ain't got nothing in the bank. But we talk, that's why I say we ain't talking about an earthly bank account. We're talking about a heavenly bank account. And God did say, with all spiritual blessings. That means God, he made the deposit. Amen? Because every bank account, you need to deposit something. So God, in his magnificent wisdom, gave us a heavenly bank account with all spiritual blessings. So now, we can go there anytime and withdraw. And we will never overdraw our account that's been set up in our name. Amen? So that's the kind of bank account we're talking about right now. We're talking about a heavenly bank account that God himself did make a deposit. Not just any deposit. He did say all spiritual blessings is in this. That means... Whatever you in need of, you can go to your heavenly bank account and withdraw. And we're going to get to that. Amen. We're going to get there. Amen. But I need to slow walk you. Like my former pastor used to say, we're going to jaywalk through this. Amen. We're going to slow walk. Amen. Through this. who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. The last part, in Christ. Hold on. I ain't going to say no names. But you got this bank that got that name. You got another bank that got this name. And you got another bank that got this name. And guess what? God did all his depositing in our heavenly bank account in one name. Christ. They say it right here. Hold on. Let me read it again. 
Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places, and he put it in Christ. That's our bank account. That's our heavenly bank account. Our heavenly bank account has a name, Christ. We ain't talking about the bank down the street got his own name. We ain't talking about the bank south or the bank north or the bank east. Amen. We ain't talking about them banks. We talking about the heavenly bank. And his name, the name of that bank is Christ. And guess what? You can go to that heavenly bank, Christ, and make a withdrawal for whatever you need. Now, we get ready to get to that part, what you need. Amen? I thank God for his word. I really do. Let me tell you something about God's word. God has blessed us with a heavenly bank account with a one-time deposit. Glory be to God. And what did God deposit this one time in this particular bank account that happened to be in your name that you can withdraw from? Amen? This is what God put in. Now, this bank ain't like the banks of the world. Amen? The banks of the world want you to put your money in. Want you to put the deeds to your house. They want you to put some kind of capital in the bank. Amen? Amen. Now let me tell you something about the banks of the world. Did you know they not exempt from filing chapter 7 or chapter 11? You know, banks file bankruptcy too. Amen. Amen. They file bankruptcy. Hey, you is. I'm, I ain't going to use you. I'll use me. Here I am. I done put all my money in the bank. I done put all $42 in the bank. The bank filed bankruptcy with my money in there. Got my $42 in there. You know what the bank do? If you didn't know, I'm getting ready to enlighten you on what the bank do. They ain't going to be able to give you all your money because they don't file bankruptcy. They bankrupt. They can't give you all your money. Amen. So I go there and they give me the spill about they in bankruptcy. But you can get some of your money. You just can't get all of it because we don't have it all. Well, out of the $42, how much money can I get? Well, you can get $3. Just think if you got $100,000 in the bank. But we're talking about, we ain't talking about that kind of bank. We're talking about a heavenly bank account that will never run dry. Amen? That's the difference. Because the heavenly bank account got a name, and the name of the bank is Christ. Amen? And what did God deposit in that bank? This is what he deposited. He deposited, deposited adoption. That's the first thing he deposited in the bank. Adoption. After sin came... And we were separated from God. We got adopted back into the family through the bank. And what's the name of the bank? Christ. Christ is the name of the bank. So God deposited in our bank account, in our name, in the heavenly bank. He deposited first adoption. We're adopted back into the family through the bank whose name is Christ. That's one thing. 
that he deposited in our account. Another thing he deposited in our account is acceptance. Did you know you can go to your heavenly bank account and draw out acceptance? Amen. You know how you do that? Through prayer. You can go to your heavenly bank account in prayer and draw out acceptance. Amen. You go for a job interview. Amen. Let me tell you something about when you go for an interview. Don't forget to invite Christ in the interview. Amen. Don't forget that. Because God did deposit in your heavenly bank account acceptance. You going to get a job. You hope they accept your application. And you hope they accept you and hire you. So why not withdraw from your heavenly bank account? How you do that is through prayer in Christ Jesus' name. You inviting Christ to be a part of the application. You invite God in. Amen? Amen. Now, when you fill out the application, you don't want to take God out the equation. So when you fill out the application, you know God already know your past. So you know what you ain't got to do on the application? You ain't got to lie. Because once you lie on the application, you done took God out the equation. God ain't got nothing to do with lying. The Bible clear. The Bible say Satan is the father of lies. He is the author of lies. The Bible do say we serve a God that cannot lie. So how you going to include God in something with a lie? He ain't got nothing to do with it. Amen? Listen. Not everybody has a squeaky clean pass. The Bible says everybody has fallen short in sin. So you don't have to lie on an application. Invite God. Remember, the second deposit after adoption is acceptance. Go to God. Go to the bank of Christ. Withdraw from that acceptance. Don't lie on the application. Let God enlighten the people's hearts to see favor in hiring you. The employer will sit there and look and get to your background check. And then a spirit from a book, because remember you didn't invite God in this. Amen. So God is a part of this application. And you is making a withdrawal from your heavenly bank account. And the withdrawal you're making is acceptance. So God will enlighten their hearts to see favor in hiring you. And you know what the employer will do? He will go over your application, go over your background check, and then he'll do this. Well, I don't know why I'm a hiring, but I'm going to give him a shot. He's scratching his head the whole time. I'm going to go ahead and give him a shot. I'm going to give her a shot. You know why? Because you went to your heavenly bank account. And you did a withdrawal of acceptance. That's two. The third thing that God made a one-time deposit in your heavenly bank account is redemption. He deposited that in. You know what that is? You can be redeemed. Redemption, redeemed from all your past sins, present sins, and future sins. You got to, but you know what you got to do to get redemption? The Bible said you have not because you ask not. That lets you know you got to ask. 
Well, what you got to ask for when it comes to redemption? You got to ask for forgiveness. That's all you got to ask for. The Bible says in 1 John chapter, 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. Amen. If, it starts out with if. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. So all God wants us to do is confess, repent, receive redemption, be redeemed. Amen. And guess what? That's the third thing that God deposited in your heavenly bank account is redemption. So you can draw from that through prayer and ask God for forgiveness. He wouldn't have put it in his word if he didn't want you to know that. That's why he starts off with if. You know why? Because you got a choice. It's up to you. So he says, if you confess your sins, God is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Did you know when God cleanses you from all unrighteousness, you know what that makes you? Pure as snow. Because he cleansed you from all unrighteousness. So if you ain't got no unrighteousness in you because you ask for forgiveness, you confess your sins, you repent it, now you're redeemed. And the most important thing, you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And by doing that, now guess what you got over you? Now you covered in blood. Amen. Amen. And when God look at you, he look at you through the blood and the blood is pure. Amen. He sees you through this, through his son's blood. Because you got a heavenly bank account and the name of the bank is Christ. Amen. We ain't talking about the bank on the corner. Amen. That's the third thing, redemption. The fourth thing God deposited in your bank account, in your name in heaven, the fourth thing he deposited was forgiveness. Oh, my God. Did you know that's in your heavenly bank account? Forgiveness. God is a forgiving God. He's a God of many chances. Look at all the times we done screwed up. And we got on our knees and prayed to God for forgiveness. And guess what God be doing? He be just like this. Come on home. He just, all he do is want you just to ask for forgiveness. You know, that's a little bitty verse. When it says, you have not because you ask not, you better start asking. You better go to your heavenly bank account. Because there's so much in there that you might not even know is there. That's why God got me giving this message today. So you will know what's in your heavenly bank account. That he gave you all spiritual blessings in that bank account. And then he even told you what the name of the account, the bank was. Hold on, let me, let me get it right. With all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. The name of the bank is Christ. And you can do your withdrawals. Amen. Our title is Your Bank Account Will Never Run Dry. Why? Because God made the deposit. And in the deposit, God gave a description. The description is, he gave us all spiritual blessings. And we're going over spiritual blessings now. Forgiveness. You got to ask for forgiveness, family. God is like this, ready to forgive you. But you have not because you ask not. 
ask for forgiveness and then repent and watch God go to work. Another deposit God deposited in your bank account is wisdom. He ain't going to leave you ignorant. He going to give you wisdom. You know, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse number 6, it says, God freely gives wisdom. And out his mouth, he speaks knowledge and understanding. But what does God freely give you? Wisdom. He deposited that into your heavenly bank account. Ain't that something? God freely gives wisdom, Proverbs 2 and 6. And out his mouth, he speaks knowledge and understanding. You know we serve a God that does things decent and in order. Amen? Amen. Why do you think God put wisdom first? You know why? Because you're going to need wisdom to understand what he's getting ready to say next. And what did he say next? God freely gives wisdom, and out of his mouth he speaks knowledge, then understanding. You know why he do it in order like that? Why would God give you knowledge second, and then understanding third? He did it in that order. You know why? Because God knows that it is impossible to understand anything that you have no knowledge of. So knowledge has to come before understanding. Once you have knowledge of something, now you can understand it. But if you ain't got knowledge of something, it's impossible to understand anything you have no knowledge of. So Proverbs 2 and 6 is clear. God freely gives wisdom. And out of his mouth he speaks knowledge and understanding. And that was the fourth, the fifth thing was wisdom. First we had adoption, acceptance, redemption, forgiveness, wisdom, number five. Now number six, we're going to do seven. Number six that God deposited in your heavenly bank account. He deposited inheritance. Uh-oh. Everybody want an inheritance. Did you know God deposited that in your bank account? Your heavenly bank account that has a name, Christ. He deposited inheritance. And you know this the kind of inheritance ain't nobody fighting over. Amen. Because here in the world, people be fighting over inheritance. Amen. You know, and you know what? I don't know what it is about worldly inheritance. Thank God we ain't talking about worldly inheritance. We're talking about heavenly inheritance. Ain't no fighting going on. Because down here in the world, when you get to inheritance, you know what always pop up? A whole lot of cussing. I don't know why inheritance bring out cuss words. People be cussing. Well, why they getting that? But they use a whole paragraph of cuss words just to say why they getting that. They didn't use the whole paragraph. They can't, they can't understand it. But thank God we ain't talking about a worldly inheritance. We talking about a heavenly inheritance. Your inheritance. Did you know God, part of your inheritance in heaven is a heavenly mansion. That's part of your inheritance in heaven. You got an inheritance. God deposits that in your heavenly bank account. That's a deposit. That's a, that is the Six deposit inheritance. I said we're going to do seven. Well, why would I pick seven? Because seven represents a perfect number to God. 
because God and his magnificent creation did all his creation in six days and he rested on the seventh day. The seventh day represents a perfect day for all he did. Amen? Amen. And then after the seventh day, did you know another day came? The eighth day. And you know what eight represents biblically? Change a new beginning. God already knew it was going to be a change and a new beginning. That's why on the seventh day, he made it a perfect day because he rested after all his work. That's why we're going to do seven deposits. We just did adoption, acceptance, redemption, forgiveness, wisdom, inheritance. Now the seventh deposit was the seal of the Holy Spirit. What a deposit. The seventh deposit was the seal of the Holy Spirit. You know what that means? Now listen. God opened up a deposit, opened up a bank account on your behalf in your name with a deposit. And the seventh deposit was the seal of the Holy Spirit. Now you sealed. You know when you sealed by the Holy Spirit, it can't be unsealed. You talk about a seal, you know, like on your job. And on you, y'all. On my job. We have a government seal on all of our letterheads. And if somebody sent me some information and they say it's from the city and I don't see that seal, hold on. Got what? This ain't official. But some of them seals that sealed ain't official. Amen? But I can tell you one seal that is efficient. And that's the seal of the Holy Spirit. That's a deposit in your bank account, your heavenly bank account that God put in. The seal of the Holy Spirit is in your bank account in heaven. And your bank account got a name. The name of your bank is Christ. Now you sealed with the Holy Spirit. Ain't that, let's give God a hand clap of praise. And that was our one verse message. All for one verse. Amen. We wasn't all over the Bible today. We stuck with one verse. And it's tied to the title. Your bank account will never run dry. Well, where that bank account at? That's your heavenly bank account that God gave you before the foundations of the world. He already had that account open. Loaded with deposits. Amen. Now we know what to go in prayer for. It ain't nothing that you need that ain't in your heavenly bank account already. And that's one bank account that you can never overdraw. And guess what? It's the only bank account that you will ever have where you ain't got to put nothing in. You know why? Because your heavenly father didn't put all spiritual blessings in that bank account. You got everything. Amen. You don't got to put nothing in. All God wants you to do is withdraw from it. And you do all that 
through prayer. Go to God in prayer and make your withdrawals. Amen. That's all you got to do. And you know what? A lot of us been sleep to that and didn't know that. But guess what? You're woke now. Amen. Amen. So now you know what to do. We're going to close out with that. We ain't going we ain't going to bring in no confusion. Amen. We're going to leave it alone where we at. Amen. What's your bank account that you don't never have to put a deposit in? Your heavenly bank account. What's the only bank account you can make withdrawals and you will never overdraw? Your heavenly bank account. What's the bank account that never closes? Your heavenly bank account. And we're going to leave it alone. But let's give God another hand clap of praise. And let's give ourselves a God bless you hand clap. <laughs> Glory be to God. I thank God for his word. I thank God for all of us continuing to decrease and let God increase in us. In his precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. Glory be to God. We can never give God enough praise. Let's give him some more praise. Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, thank God for our heavenly bank account. Let's give him another hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Well, family, is that time of the service? Glory be to God. Worship and giving. Hallelujah. Worship and giving. You know God loves a cheerful giving. Thank God for Jesus on that. If we could have a little music doing our worship and giving. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. I thank God for him knowing our hearts. God does not want us to give grudgingly. God's word said he loves a cheerful giver. Now you got to remember, you can never outbeat God giving. One thing for sure and two things for certain. It was God that gave you what you got now. Amen. And God don't ask for much. Amen. Amen. And one thing I know about God, he'll wait on his. But guess what? Your job won't wait on theirs. Did you know your job take theirs off the top before you get it? God don't have to take nothing off the top. You know why? Because it's his anyway. But he do love a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. And God will bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Family, let us all stand to our feet. Through the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Let us bless our offering. Lord God, we thank you for these offerings. We thank you for the ones that are not here and want to make a donation, want to tithe, want to give an offering. We know, Lord God, that your word tells us that they can even mail it in. They can mail it in to 2831 Avenue S, Riviera Beach, Florida, 33404, Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. Because they might be out of town. They might be out of the state. They might be out of the country. But they can mail it in. And they can bring it right up to the church. We'll be here until 12 noon. You can bring it right to 2831 Avenue S, Riviera Beach, Florida, 33404. And you can even call. You know, we can do it over the phone, too. Glory be to God. 
We can call our treasurer at 561 area code 313-2373 and our treasurer, Sister Bridget, will guide you over the phone how you can give tithes, offerings, and donations. So we want to take this time out, Lord God, just to say thank you for everyone who was able to give and gave, Lord God. Thank you. Bless them. We also want to say thank you for everyone that wanted to give but didn't have it to give, Lord God. Bless them too. And Lord God, let these tithes, offerings, and donations edify your kingdom. Let it do your work through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus to Christ. And everybody who loves the Lord God, let them say amen. 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 Let's give God a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Holy, holy, holy is our Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated. Glory. Now, you know what they always say when church is getting ready. Before the benediction, we like for the doors of the church to be open. Altar call. For anyone who don't know Jesus, want to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, because you do need a Savior, the Christ. Did you know that's where your heavenly bank account is? In Christ. But how can you get to your heavenly bank account if you're not accepting your heavenly bank account? So if you don't know Jesus, know this. You need a Savior. And Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is our heavenly bank account, that God put all of the deposits in that bank. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Glory be to God. And did you know you can intercede, stand in the gap for someone who don't know Jesus and you know they need this heavenly bank account? where every deposit that they need is in it, you can come forward and you can stand in the gap for someone else. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's give God another hand clap of praise. Holy, holy, holy. And did you know if you need prayer, hold on, did I say prayer? Well, everybody need prayer. Everybody stand. Everybody stand in the sanctuary if you're able to stand. Everybody stand on our TCOPB Facebook page. Everybody stand on our Pastor B. Steelville YouTube channel. And everybody stand on our conference line because everybody needs prayer. In Jesus the Christ's name. Let us bow our heads, have a moment of silence. And give reverence to God. Lord God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for including us in this particular day. The 20th day of March of the year 2022. A time in time that you knew before time. You knew who was going to be in this sanctuary. And you hadn't even created heaven and earth. You knew who was going to be watching on our TCOPB Facebook page. And you hadn't even created heaven and earth. You knew who would be watching on our Pastor B. Steelville YouTube channel. And you hadn't even created heaven and earth. And you knew who would be listening on our conference line. And you hadn't even created heaven and earth. So we want to say thank you, Lord God, for including us in this particular day. In your precious son, Jesus the Christ's name, we take nothing for granted. Holy, holy, holy is our Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. And everybody who loves the Lord God, let them say amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. And let's give ourselves a God bless you hand clap. You may be seated. Glory be to God. Now, we're getting ready to have our benediction in closing. In Jesus the Christ's name. Amen. Now, during our benediction, I would like everybody to repeat after me. But before I do the benediction, there are three things that I must leave with you. Amen. The first thing I want to leave with you is when a man is out of place, his woman is displaced. His children is misplaced. And Jesus is replaced. All because a man is out of place. So men stay in place. Glory be to God. The second thing. It is good not to do wrong. And it is wrong not to do good. And if you do good by everybody, you won't wrong anybody. Glory, glory, glory. And the third thing, when your heart is right toward God, God obligates himself to orchestrate your life, to bring you into the knowledge of the things you need to know and into the company of the people you need to know that is critical for your success and destiny in life. In the name of Jesus the Christ, amen. Glory be to God. Let us all stand and repeat after me our benediction. Hallelujah. For the grace of our Lord God, Jesus the Christ, and the love of our Lord God, God the Father, and the communion with the Holy Spirit, be with us all, always and forever, and for eternity. In Jesus the Christ's name. Christ name. Amen. Amen. I'm Pastor B. Steelville. And remember, be prayerful, be safe, and be still. God bless y'all. Be still, my brother. That's right. <laughs>